Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, it's interesting how Microsoft works. If you're on Windows 10, um, I'm on the release preview ring on Windows 10 and I've been testing the um, updates, the bug fixing updates before they arrive and so this was the only ring left on the insider rings for Windows 10. Well starting today, June 4th, something new is happening and I kind of wonder why and for a simple reason you've got a little more than a year left for Windows 10 you know a month and a few uh, a year and a few months so what's the point in playing around with it and you know just leave it alone but if you go into your settings app and then you go into update and security and you go into Windows Insider program um, if you enroll in the insider rings, well, I was on a release preview, but look at this. When I click on it now, it offers me beta, beta channel. So this is to test out new features because apparently there's going to be new features. So this is mind boggling for an operating system that is so close to the end. I mean, Windows S7 and Windows XP didn't get any new features in the last few years after they were uh, when, when they, they they were released you know when there's just two three years left we just had security updates bug fixes and that's it um, if your PC is compatible because if you look at mine uh, when I go to the update and security um, it tells me that my PC does not meet the minimum requirements and that's because the processor and the TPM aren't there but if you do have a PC that's on release preview, for example, and it does have minimum requirement to go to Windows 11, well, you'll have two more choices. You'll have release preview, beta channel, but you'll also have the dev channel and the Canary channel. And if you choose those, you will all be pushed to Windows 11. So uh, that is kind of interesting to see that they've decided to do this change. Um, what's the strategy bef you know, behind this? I don't know. Uh, but I think that it's kind of weird that you want to give new features to an operating system that's so close to the end. As for the rest, we still don't know what the pricing will be for the home user. No word yet, so we'll see what happens. I know a lot of people would like to have the extended security updates for free. I tend to think that that will not happen, but who knows? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.